Have you ever wondered what was Canada's largest railroad? Of all the railroads in Canada, only one has gone from a successful Class 1 to a mega system of 20,400 route miles of track in both Canada and the United States. From its inception in 1918, it already had many smaller railroads merged into its network, which also included Canadian Northern Railroad. Over those early years, yet other railroads were absorbed into this mega rail giant. Those being Grand Trunk Corporation in 1923, the Vermont Central Railway, later renamed Central Vermont Railroad in 1848, and the Duluth, Winnipeg, and Pacific Railroad in 1901. Since this mega giant, Canadian National Railroad began operations in 1918, it was owned largely by the Canadian government's Crown Corporation. This corporation funded most of what transactions Canadian National did to enhance and expand its growing infrastructure and business, while at the same time being competitive to rival Canadian Pacific. Yes, Canadian National had what it took to survive and grow into today's biggest Canadian Class 1. Since the early years after Canadian National was born, it too, like so many other railroads, suffered many hardships and setbacks. Since it was owned by the Crown Corporation, the government funded its operations. It also permitted many other smaller railroads to be absorbed into the growing CN system. Later in 1923, the Crown Corporation purchased the nearly bankrupt Grand Trunk Corporation, which eventually was absorbed into the CN system. At this point, the Canadian National consisted of the Central Vermont Railroad, the Duluth, Winnipeg, and Pacific Railroad, which were the roots of CN, and then the Grand Trunk Corporation. Canadian National would go on to compete with other railroads, and rival Canadian Pacific, for business. But just what was it that gave Canadian National the edge over Canadian Pacific? Was it luck? Was it greed? Was it fate? Or? Was it a good sales pitch of CN? You will find out in this program. In 1995, after 77 years of governmental ownership, Canadian National became privately owned. While this was both good and bad news, depending on your perspective, the railroad would ultimately see a need for expansion. The first step in this expansion was with the purchase of 144-year-old Illinois Central Railroad in 1998. That established a solid connection with the southern ports for international container shipments. The next step which was already waiting to happen was the purchase of the Wisconsin Central Limited in 2001. With this deal, the NAFTA, or North American Free Trade Alliance was completed, 
and also the final step in CN's transcontinental system which was already in place across Canada. From there, Canadian National went on to acquire both the BC Rail and Duluth, Missaid, and Iron Range Railroad in 2004. Finally, in 2011, Canadian National acquired the Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern Railroad. All these acquisitions were necessary to complete the transcontinental route already in place, as well as uphold the NAFTA agreement. The other railroad acquisitions allowed Canadian National to expand its dense network of trackage, and obtain more business, helping to promote serious competition. Everything CN did had a purpose behind it. And you will learn how this mega giant railroad worked its way up the success ladder. If you're into Canadian National, and how it got to be where it is today, then you will want a copy of this program. Don't miss Canadian National, 99 years in the making. Coming soon from Private Stock Pictures.